Y'all see this? Just take a close look. I want y'all to see that, right? Time to consider LeBron James the greatest of all time, bro. That's what Nick Wright is talking about. Now, y'all remember when, during the season, when LeBron started to go through that stretch where they was losing to the, the teams in the West and losing the teams in the East? Y'all remember that? When, now, I, I, I pulled up a picture yesterday where I showed you LeBron only played 74 games when he was 32 years old. And Michael Jordan played 80, the full 82 games, full 81, 82 games, however many games it is. So, y'all remember when they were going through that, that those losses and Nick Wright was nowhere to be found? Nowhere to be found. Now, this is what they do. They constantly sell you the story and brainwash you. Look at this. You got 3 million views. And this is what they do. They constantly brainwash people. On YouTube, let's how many views it got. It got 204,000. Masses of people who can you are influencing their mind. Let's let's read the title. Let's read what the title says. It says, "Someone needs to come to me. Someone needs to come to me and explain to me jo- what Jordan is better at than Michael than LeBron James without saying the words six rings." Nick Wright. One more time. Someone needs to come to me and explain to me what Jordan is better at than LeBron James without saying the word six rings. Nick Wright. This is what Nick Wright said. Now, he wants somebody to come to him that's emotional and don't know what they're talking about. That's what he would like. Right? That's that's what he would like. So let's go to... This picture I have. And we're not even going to, you know what? We're not even going to talk about rings. Since Nick Wright doesn't want to talk about rings. Shout out to to all of them on ESPN First Take. Like these are shows that I used to watch. I can't even watch it no more, bro. Because they talk about the same thing and sell the same story every single day. All right, this is this all it comes down to. Now, you can go on your Wikipedia page and see these for yourselves. I don't let nobody brainwash me. I don't go get the, oh, he shot percentage better. He was 38% with three-pointers than Michael Jordan and blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to go through all that. Let's look at defense. Let's look at the defense. Michael Jordan was a nine-time all-defensive first-team player. Nine-time all-defensive first team. LeBron James was a five-time all-defensive first team player. This is this is common sense. Like you could just go to Wikipedia and look for yourself. But I, I talk to so many people now, and this is how much influence that it has. That when you talk to different people, the first thing that they bring up this is like you're talking to Colin Cohort. It's like you walking around talking to a bunch of Max Kellermans, a bunch of Shannon Sharps nowadays, without even going to find the facts for themselves. Was LeBron James a better scorer than Michael Jordan? It says here that Michael Jordan was a 10-time scoring champion. How many? 10-time scoring champion. LeBron James was a one-time scoring champion. Michael Jordan never even was on a second time, uh, all-time, uh, uh, all-defense, second team. NBA single season leader, fifth on the list. LeBron is 32nd. Michael Jordan is fifth. This is going by the total of the highest average number. So Michael Jordan averaged 37 points per game one season. 37 points per game one season. Kobe is eighth on the list. Kobe The highest Kobe average was 35 points per game one season. What's the highest LeBron ever averaged? He's 32nd on the list. The highest he ever averaged in his career was 31 points. These are facts. You can go look for yourself. Look at how look at the 40 point games that Kobe had. It's not even come on now. Look, look, just look at this. What are we comparing? And, and then you have people say, "Well, well, 
This he's still planning. He still got time to go. Bro, then compare it then. You don't you gotta compare it then. You can't be talking about well he's he's the greatest already. He's the greatest and all that. You gotta let him let him prove himself. You get you know what I'm saying? And this what it ruins it for the fan, like the people who really love basketball, you ruin it because you you forcing this story and when you talk to fans it, it's like you can't even have a decent conversation with them. You get what I'm saying? Like and like I said, LeBron James is one of the greatest. You can't deny that. But look at that. Kobe's a nine time all defensive first team. You telling me LeBron James was a better a better defender than Kobe? Come on, bro. But anyway, man, y'all let me know what y'all think. They've been trying to shove this story down your throat. And one minute LeBron's in the conversation, the next minute, and they, they just all they, all of this they see a story. And they could push it and continue to push it and push it and people go and buy into it. And they, they push that story to get ratings and stuff like that. But anyway, man, y'all click that subscribe button, like, share, let me know what y'all think. I'm out.